What is happening, ladies and gents? Slam me to your plane some more, and a fate two. And today we're gonna tackle the wheel, where three mysterious characters have been imprisoned beyond this mortal realm. Freeing them may provide great rewards, and also terrible failure. Uh, so, all the gambits are in play, it looks like. Dice, wheels, cards. Need a lot of food, need a lot of gold. Uh, so I'm bringing Dice Man, Kolbjorn, um, got standard encounters, some with tokens, some with golden food. Uh, equipment is a bunch of new stuff that we haven't seen, and I picked golden food for our supplies. So let's just hop in and see what happens. Fate turns through all of our lives. We can choose when to spin the wheel, yet not where it lands. We do have a silver, so there's some objective we're trying to hit. Anger, pain, wrath, diarrhea. These are the powers oh. that propel us when faith, love, and truth have failed us. You wake one night to a shimmering orb hovering above you, bathing your surroundings in a silver light. Three figures appear in the glow, the tallest one. Despite her hushed tones, her voice fills the room. Rise, hero. Rise, and free us from our eternal prison. Uh, what are you doing in my room? Mortals have many names for us. Genies, jinns, or deities. But we are none of these. We are the watchers of the weave. The fates of all things are ours to know. Cool. You still didn't tell me who you were. I am Iowa, the diviner. These are my siblings, my brother Harrow and sister. <laughs> we study the weave of fate and guide people towards their destiny and their doom. Uh... What would you ask? Why do you want my help again? Harrow speaks, his voice booming from behind his long beard. Ephraim, you must travel beyond the mortal realm. We can guide you, but you alone must master the whims of fate. Cool. Uh, who trapped you? I will laments. <sighs> we are not the only ones who see the strings tied to every mortal. Long ago, a mage saw himself as puppet master and not a marionette. He would not stand for our interference, so he trapped us here beyond the mortal gates. Cool. Also, how can you be freed? We are not in your mortal realm, but somewhere beyond. We can bring you part of the way. But you, alone, must prove yourself a master of fate. Some are supple and bend to fate's will, while others are left broken. Great. The three siblings join hands and begin to chant. There's a moment of discomfort and rushing sensation. And when your vision clears, you feel like you're floating. Far below, you see your body, still safely asleep beside the fire. Prove yourself. And you will open the path to our prison. Gather fate shards to free Aiwa, Hero, and Gurhara. This intervention will have alerted our jailer, the Black Knight. Tear it out. The longer you take to get here, the stronger the knight will be. Uh, okay. Bunch of stairs. I feel like we either go fast or we try to get all the things. Hmm. The like Wheel of Freed. You are never satiated until you have consumed all. Mm -hmm. uh. Is it greed that leads mortals to degrade each other in the pursuit of going? God <laughs> whispers in your ear. Thin strands of silver smoke ensnare you like jailer's chains. Or perhaps we are all equally damaged. And we label those who better understanding greed to appease our envy. With better understanding, I mean, eh, eh. give it to greed and fate will reward you. I'm not a vain man. I can't see anything, so I'm just going to hit the button, see what happens. You that the game, this game, sure. has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Cool. Yes, yes, says Gehaya with delight. 
Power comes in many forms across the realms. While inflexible, gold is quite useful in the mortal realms. I got four fake shards for 15 bucks. It's not going to be this one, but we're going fake more steps. It really was. More questions, more truths. Uh, um, how would we get 50 fate shards if we just go straight for the exit? What Fates is favor? Truth. Do not let these spirits sell you on their fancy. Truth is never so clearly cut. Gyarael appears to you in the vision of silver light. I do not have eyes. Yet I perceive fate's hand. Do you see the world as it truly is, or is your vision clouded? It's totally clouded. No, it's just your mind's eye sees truth. This is good. Fate shards. What truth lies in dreams, eh? Mm. Once more, your sleep is interrupted by silver smoke and your vision of Awa, Awa, Mistress of Fate. You sigh and pack your bedroll as she begins to speak. Uh, what? Isn't this what she said first? Whatever. <laughs> oh, Sh okay. I can't really tell what they are, so I'm just gonna click. Armor slide. Awick sends her hand to you in an elegant motion. Tiny ethereal fingers dance and cavort in her palms. Gradually you realize you're watching events from your own past. Oh. This is the weave of your life's tapestry, and we shall re-examine. Holy shit, that's a lot of gold. A masked bounty hunter sits motionless across the table from you. You prepare yourselves for the fourth round of competition. A 16? Are you kidding me? There's no way. A 16? Keep one four. Oh, please, just give me anything. <laughs> Eat a dick. You can hear breathing, heavy breathing, through your opponent's mask. Your opponent silently rises from the table and leaves with their consolation prize. You thank Hobjorn for the intimidating stare that he laid upon your opponent. You get 40 gold. Because holy smokes. You take your word, your reward. When you return, the next round will be a larger prize. I highly doubt it. This fate's night choice. is merely a tool of the fates, but this is a tool that can still cut deeply. All right. Iowa's voice rings in your ears. No one defies fate and goes unmarked. What punishment would you endure to reweave the tapestry in your own design? Uh, I mean, couldn't I technically just roll around for 30 seconds? <laughs> Shit. Because I could lose way more than whatever it's going to say. But let's try it. Harrow speaks to you in his gruff tone. The Black Knight will relish the chance to plant fear in your heart. Red Knight lowers its visor and steals itself for combat. Survive for 30 seconds. Also roll around like a son of a bitch. Just iframe all over the place. There is no iframes. Alrighty. He's a dual wielder. He looks pretty ballin'. A warrior from beyond the 13th gate. You must bash away his armor, and before you can take him down. All right. What if I don't, though? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather not. Survive. Just run away like a... Okay, he's a cheater. Okay, he is actually a cheater. Okay. That's not a big deal. He wasn't anywhere near me. 
<laughs> for especially that second swing. No worries. Black Knight Spears with a booming laugh. Cool, good for him. Make a donation, get a blessing. Ooh, what is this? Player cannot starve to death, but can starve down to one life. Okay. Gain of 20 gold, the beginning of a new map. If you have less than 20, that's not gonna happen. If your max life is 150, you can a discard food gain. Hey. Receive 15 life for every gold gain. Hey. Receive four food for every dice gambit. Yes. Gonna have to buy some food. Anger. You and I must both cultivate our anger. For Callus lies at the end of our quest, and we will need to be white hot in our rage to defeat him. I'll be white hot. Hero appears before you in a vision of silver. People claim that they fight for freedom, for coin, or to protect the weak. The truth makes liars of them all. They fight because inside their heart burns an unquenchable rage. If you are free, wait, if you are to free us, you must be not just a skilled warrior, but prepared for whatever fate may set in your path. Like all these enemies that I can't tell what they are, so I'm just gonna click and a bunch of frost juice. No righteous you might battle. Want to work on this? Is clearly you lack without what it takes. A limitation on time. A lover is in peril, or a comrade suspended from the hangman's noose. Fate will side the sands in the hourglass. Oh shit. Oh shit. I can't read those. Um, what is that? 120 seconds? Okay. Minute and a half. I can do that. Maybe. You are not the first hero to attempt these trials. What separates you from the others? Aside from an 18 inch long wiener. It's too long. I beg to differ. Wow, we got a garbage weapon. Just a garbage weapon. Then they're cold viewing. There, Colby Owen. Uh, he had his stun symbol and he had his uh what? That was a parry. Uh he, he got stunned and he still was doing his double red cross swords. Not cool. How can I trust the visual cues? Please be a good sword. All right. What is this? Nudge the wheel to the next card. Ooh. Or remove a card from the wheel. Eh, let's nudge. Also, we heal. Well done, Harrow Cheers. You have proven yourself capable of besting fate itself. Thanks. Swim once more. Your sleep is interrupted by silver smoke and your vision of Iowa. Mistress of Fate. You sigh, pack up your bedroll. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Oh, one of our old things. Uh, Goblin Town. Never been here. Uh, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll try it out. I don't know what it is. That should help. Following the goblin's instructions, you walk through snow, then marsh, then under an old oak tree. You crawl through dirt tunnels lit by shafts of sunlight until you eventually emerge on a paved road deep underground. Up ahead, you see a bright green glow. You are no longer alone. Goblins scurry from adjoining tunnels and greet you on the path. You are swept along with the crowd until the tunnel broadens into a vast cavern encapsulating a small city. Goblin Town. Green lanterns cast the streets of murky light. Crowds of goblins go about their business while hooded figures lead rodent-like beasts of burden to market. In the distance, a mount of gold glitters enticingly. Lines of goblins are arrayed around it like spokes of a wheel. Let's... Is it Gold Mountain? Join one of the long queues of goblins waiting patiently for their gold. 
Rusty Goblin, wearing a pointy hat, peers down at you from a tall bureau. His wrinkled hand clutches a quill over a scroll of paper so long that it cascades off his counter and onto the ground. Name. Gob- Ancient Goblin slowly scratches your name into the parchment before scooping some of the gold up. Uh, to your waving haversack with a long giant spoon. Sweet. Double sweet. Triple sweet. Aw, oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> um, um, let's explore the town, I guess? Oh. Fudge. Uh, Guarded balloons of goblins town are stacked haphazardly on top of another little pair's pants hang and watch the line strung overhead. Suddenly, urgent horns blare an alarm throughout the city, reverberating off the cabin walls. Goblins and folk alike drop what they're doing and rush toward the exit tunnels or jump into portals popping up here and there. The ground trembles underfoot, underfoot as choking black gas begins to seep into the cavern. You pack your things and hurry towards the nearest exit. You're stopped to assist an old feeble goblin lifting him over your head shoulder for safety. That was nice of us. It claws at the belly and thrusts one into truth. You hear his voice in your head, and great swirling mist surrounds and confines you. Fate's hunger must be sated. I mean, fate's hunger must be sated. <laughs> Should the meal nourish the needy or fatten the opulent? Yes, for us to know, fate will decide. Do I have one food? Okay. I can't do any of these. So... Oh, I want it to go to the left. <laughs> That's awesome. Take my one food. I'll give up the food. Mm, nice. All right, let's buy some food with our 124 freaking million gold. Uh, adds 20 max life while you have a one-handed weapon. You shuffle chance cards. Shuffle once less down to minimum of one shuffle. Are you... Uh, yes. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want that. Thank you. You may take right their garb, but hopefully not their ideas. I... Three food for 15 bucks. That is outrageous. It's also a nutrageous. I missed those candy bars. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, break can. Wrestling behind you is all the warning you get. You're in danger. Oh, uh, you get frosted. Put that in the deck because I don't think I'd ever used it. God, we need a new weapon. Get in there, cold Bjorn. It's not cold, Bjorn. It's the coldest of Bjorns. Whoopsie. Head. Unconscious. Search for spoils. I really want food. That this one? Nope. Alright. Boom. A golden staircase stretches up into the mists. The Black Knight waits patiently at the summit. Aoa calls to you. Each stair you climb gives him time to bolster his defenses or thwart your progress. You must gather the shards of fate as quickly as possible. Alright, you climb the steps. Far above you, figure step from the void and fall in line behind the Black Knight. Sure. Uh, I hate the fire guys, so do I want four Frosties or some Bola dudes? Uh, let's go to the left. Take that. Fate has chosen an ally for the Black Knight, Awa says solemnly. 
Though I am now blind to the weave of fate, I am sure our faith in you is well placed. That card will join the Black Knight in their final encounter. Did camp get new stuff since we're on a new floor? One failure card. Dude, we're buying it. Greed. Uh, this is the one we've done already. We're gonna roll and give them some gold. Come on, three gold. Uh, you know, let's let's just uh, let's just bump it to the left. <laughs> what a cheating card I, or ring! I love oh, it. Dear. <laughs> Move faster next time. That was exactly what I wanted, you jackass. Fate's favor. Okay. I think it was this one? God damn it. I can't even win them. I can't. I can't win them even when they're only oh, shuffle once. Them, even when they're helpful. You could have uh, easily kept the priests out of this, you know. You meet a wandering priest who greets you with a friendly manner. Are you hungry? Twelve food for three gold? Yes. Truly, they got a smile on your meeting here this day, the priest says, as he takes your gold. Cool. I put that in the deck because I didn't know what it was. General store. Um, oh, shit. We can actually look at things. Uh, well, in effect, in combat, this item is very valuable. Ah, so that's like the exquisite blade. It's something to sell if you get it. I gotcha. Um. Okay, the first post after taking damage deals 300% damage. Interesting. Performing an attack that ignites the blade with fire for eight seconds. Fire causes a bunch of damage to Northerners. I did put Northerners with the Black Knight just a moment ago. How much is it? 34? That's all of our gold. We already have a thing. A uh, mask gun. something that wants gold it is a kind of miracle the empire has done their best to purge this world of everything strange and wonderful and yet the strong remain it looks like crab people <laughs> you see some treasure lying just inside the den of a family of claw trolls oh my god you may try to retrieve it but the claws of the trolls clubs are pre didn't pre Return naturalization. I don't think I have ever seen that word. Preternaturally sharp. Hmm. You'll have to be quick. Enter the cave and take the equipment. Do it. I don't want to equip it. I mean, I might as well equip it, right? It's not going to break. Ineffective in combat. It's got eight defense, though. I'll probably just sell it. You retrieve the item, but the club trolls are engaged, are enraged at your intrusiveness, intrusion into their cave. Oh. I'm scared of these. They scare me real bad. <laughs> Breathe. You have done well. You're both quick and nimble as you exit the cave safely. You know, let's just sell it. Fifty gold? Yeah, let's do it. Do, do, do. Nah. Alright, let's keep going. We'll raid. Right. Wee. Another wheel. Each 
different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Uh, no, I think we're good. We can do terrible. Uh, gotta do within time limit. Mm, I don't know what time. 90 seconds. Just bump it to the left, get two minutes. Why not? Is it just one terablyte? That doesn't. That's not possible. It's got to be a bunch of dudes, right? Two, two dudes. suspect except revenge revenge I understand intimately um, no, we're gonna go back and check need shards pickpocket alrighty so bad at this since they changed the card again He'll give me the card unless I steal all, right? Let's see if he'll do it with three. Ah, uh, nope. We have to steal all of it. No token for us. Alright. Um, he's there. Yep, okay. So he's going to get something new as part of his posse. Pretty ballin'. That is definitely something I don't want. Definitely want blight terrors. They're easier. Another enemy to oppose us. It was says the Black Knight knows is only his task to prevent our rescue or our escape. Still need 19 shards. Slightly too fast. Yep. <sighs> um, gotta feed him. Gotta feed fate. Let's uh, bump it a little bit to the right. You know what I'm saying? Eat late. Even Perhaps late. You should Eat have taken late. your time. My God, we need so many more. Um, suffer three wounds versus seven fate. What? Three wounds? That's crazy. Let's do it. Your body breaks. You hope the sacrifice was worth it. Ah! Two! Anus! That was fine. I thought it was health that we were going to be hit with. Give up gold to the gods. Yes, that is totally fine. <laughs> Versus 20 or 25. All right, we got four. Nice. Six more to go. Uh, let's gold and the golden food. Let's do it. A little trap room. This mission said we needed food and gold. Which is super correct, we totally do. Wait, it's showing us weapons? 
There's no combat in here. Food gold. Wow. Lots of food. Here. Grab this one. And go back this way, like we did last time. Here. More tasty treats. Woo! Weak by that one. Um, all right. I got snagged on the corner a little bit. Got scared, too. Peed myself. And I think that's it. It's showing me my weapon. <laughs> Phasing in and out. Pasty, delicious. Behold, Maiden, I have no idea what to do for this coin. What if we need to have the like the, a potion to give her or something? Um, protect people claim that they've had freedom. Coin to protect the weak. Yep. All right. I really don't want to fight any of these things. Uh, three arcane. Four steel. Uh, I'm just going to fight these guys. And a timer of who knows. That's the best we're going to get. I think these are regular shield guys, not phalanx. Sisters of Vengeance. Cool, they got green lines. That chest plate looks pretty cool. The great smith, Varaya, made two blades for two sisters. As the sisters became distant from one another, the blades craved closeness. Now the blades are together. Good for them. Go after the guy who stunned, you bastard. You bastard. Excuse me. Doubles. God. I think I'm powering them up with that move. Like giving myself a uh, bonus damage or something. I didn't see it exactly. Oh, that was the does more damage stacks. Gotcha. That's right. Well done. Thank you. We need two more fate shards, please. I will feed the gods. Mm, I would like to feed them one food, please. Thank you. <laughs> you give up the food. Dude, we got 50 shards off our Dude, we're gonna go here anyways. Fate swim. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, I... this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. Something of you. I have Let's a certain go over there pride regarding its twists and turns. We return to your first cottage. Um, 
surprise and relieve. They give you a thing. It's pretty cool. Get some food. And, uh, yeah. Now you reap all that you have sown. Now death comes for you in a score of forms. The golden stairs gives way to solid stone. You find yourself face to face with the Black Knight. Even though you've already been face to face with him once. You are on a mountaintop, cloaked in silver fog. Iowa, Harrow, and Gilhawala uh, materialize behind you and smile. You have pierced the veil, and so the Black Knight comes to defend his realm. Defeat him and free us, champion. Fate has provided the Black Knight with more protection. <clears throat> Magnum condoms. The Black Knight summons its allies. Harrow speaks. Fate has chosen paces for both sides of the board. We shall see if you can overcome the obstacles placed before you. For all our sakes, I hope you are victorious. Me too. Especially because he's a huge cheater. Bash him. Bash his butt. Dude, he stunned like every single enemy. I was buffing my weapons. God damn, I hate the. Uh, <laughs> I hate that they can hit you while you're doing a thing that's canned animation that you can't do anything against. terrible. If you can just stand there while you're buffing your weapons and get hit. No, thank you. Oh, okay. Yep. in bash mode. Excuse me, video game. I have no idea when the game is just gonna shit on me. <laughs> For certain things, that was the worst fight we've ever done. I think I'd never, ever, ever want a right trigger, and I never want a left trigger. Because it just leaves me open to get pooped on. The silver clowns disperse around you as the Black Knight's body falls lifelessly to the floor. Harold greets you warmly. You have freed us from a prison we thought eternal. Our gratitude shall become endless, warrior of fate. Uh, wait, that's the other person. Never mind. <laughs> I can see why he's watching you. I what says with a smile. You. So, do we fail because we didn't go up a third set of stairs? <sighs> well, he's watching you, Harrow says grimly. We shall be plotting our revenge. The three siblings disappear in a cloud of gray and gold. Overcome with exhaustion, you look around for a comfortable place to make camp. You were surprised to see your bedroll already laid out beside a fire. Campfire burning low. You gaze up at the night sky briefly before falling into a deep and untroubled sleep. Fate itself begins to turn in your favor. We knew that because you are here. Okay. Grimalkin. 
I like cats. All right, we did get the gold. Forgotten dreams. I'm guessing it's an artifact. We reach toward the end of our tale, and here true magic begins. I don't think we reach the towards the end of our tale. Opened, and now we must merely pass through them. We're not even halfway. We are exactly halfway. <laughs> 11 out of 22, I think, or something like that. Campfire. Change our appearance now. All right, well, you know, another one down. And, uh, yeah, until next time, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you then.